So this is what I just came home to. <laughs> I forgot that I left a ginormous mess before I left the house earlier. Good times, good times. So I wanted to show you guys, I went to the Dollar Tree today and I got these awesome bins for a dollar each. I got four of them for now. And I saw someone, one of you, thank you so much, linked me or told me about um, another bloggers or vloggers channel where she does a lot of organizational stuff and she used these bins and I was like it's probably not very likely that I'm gonna find them and then they had a ton of them um I also got some athletic tape because of Laura Lee here on YouTube she did like how to make your boobs look good in shirts <laughs> video and like you know shirts that show cleavage that you can't wear a bra with and she uses athletic tape to like support them and like that's genius so I'm gonna try it next time I like go out somewhere which is you know pretty rare and then I got some duct tape some hot pink duct tape because why not and because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon and I want to have really cute duct tape on the package is that weird maybe that's weird Okay, so here's another update to my pantry with the new new um, organizers from Dollar Tree. These are all my baking things, straws and extra goodies. This, I don't know if I really like this area still, but it's still really organized. It has like these clear plastic bins. Those are all my protein powders, peanut butters or almond butters, anything like that. And then things I put in my smoothies. And then up here I have like rice, crackers, pasta, come on, focus. Up here I have rice, crackers, and pasta in that one. These two have oatmeal and popcorn, and then I have two jars full of bars, and then I have my complete cookies that are protein cookies. And then up here I have kind of granola and more oatmeal. I have an abundance of oatmeal right now. Chips, and then any other extra snacks. And then up there is the same still. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go to brunch with two of my good friends, Autumn and Layla, and we are going to go to a new brunch spot that I have never gone to. Actually, I don't think any of us have gone to it, and it sounds really, really good though, so I'm excited, and of course, I'm going to take you with me, but I thought I'd show you my makeup really quick. Um, on my eyes today, I have a NARS shadow that I believe was limited edition. It's called Outer Limits. And it was from the Christopher Kane collection. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm trying to open it one-handed. That's what it looks like. It's so magical. So I have that all over my lid. And then I just have a few Makeup Geek shadows in my crease, like creme brulee. And the one that's kind of like a tangerine. Um, I have Champagne Pop Highlight on today, Hula Bronzer, and NARS Torrid Blush. And then on my lips, I have Coco K from Kylie lip kits. It looks darker on my lips than in the tube. That, that tends to happen with my lips. So yeah, I need to go and put my hair up. I'm going to do like a top bun today and see what I'm going to wear and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. This is where we're going for brunch today. I think we're going to sit out on the patio. It's a beautiful day. So this adorable little package came from Pacifica today. I didn't want to open it because it was just so cute, but it's pretty much spoiler alert. I'm pretty sure that this Dream Big 7 to 1 mascara is inside of it, which as you can see, it is a plastic bristle wand that extends, which Buxom had a mascara similar to this as well that I was like, eh, about. So we'll see what I think. It's at Target for $15.99. $99. So, I'm going to unbox this on Snapchat, but I'll show you in a second. Good morning, honeybees. It is my first day of weigh-in. Whew, it was a pretty good week. I did it, I feel happy about it. So I'm gonna go in, get weighed, and I'll be right back. Yay, I'm back. I lost 11.8 pounds. That is nuts. The pro program, I can't even talk, I'm so excited, is Ideal Protein. 
I love it. It is so good. I've never felt this great and lost this much weight in one week. Um, now the first week is always going to be the biggest weight loss and then after that should be two to four pounds a week. So congratulations Mama V. We're doing it and I'm hoping that this journey continues with you too. We're all in it together. Love you. Bye. All right, well, I just got back from Costco to get some healthy stuff. My daughter, Melissa, loves these ice, and I have to say they are good, and they come in different flavors, and they're zero calories. We also like the Santa Fe chicken salad, 270 calories, all in one little packet, so you can take it to work. Of course, some yummy mushrooms. I'm going to try this marinated wild salmon. I'm not a very big salmon eater, but... Um, some people that recommended this, so I'm going to try it. Bertoli has some organic uh, olive oil, basil, and garlic sauce, so I can put that on my zucchini noodles. I'm going to put some tri-tip on the grill tonight. Also, of course, can't forget your shrimp. These broccolis, I truly recommend anybody uh, get them. They're organic. They're the best broccoli I've ever tasted frozen. Of course, some more organic a uh, spring mix of um, salad or lettuce. And Melissa is going to be so happy. I found her mangoes. She loves mangoes. So I, I think I'm going to make her day today. Well, hope you guys are having a good day. Take care. You guys, my mangoes are back. Oh, I'm so excited. Mama B got them for me today at Costco. These are the best mangoes ever. The Fresca mangoes. I don't know what kind of variety this is Fresca, the, the variety of mango, I'm not sure, but there is nothing better than this kind of mango. And I've tried, tried to have different ones and these are the only ones that I love so much. So, so happy. Hey guys, so I'm about to go into Target because someone just Snapchatted me that they have these adorable mint bowls at the dollar spot, but they're really the $3. They're really $3 and they have like a honeycomb pattern on them and they're mint. They're meant for me. So I turned real quick into Target. I wasn't even planning on it and I'm going to do that. Um, I wanted to show you my outfit today. So I'm wearing this necklace, which I'm pretty sure I got at Target a while back though. My guest striped shirt and then this little, um, is this a cardigan? What is this called? You guys know what it's called and I can't think of it right now. But it's super soft. It's from the Lauren Conrad collection, I believe, from Kohl's. And it has like the softest material. It's so cozy. It's a blazer. That's what it is. Not a cardigan. It's a blazer. But it's like a really soft material. It's so comfy. And I have these little pearls on. And these are not Ray-Bans. They're just like some rose gold and white glasses that I'm pretty sure I got at Forever 21. So I'm going to go into Target real quick and I'll let you know if I find them. Instead of showing you what I got, I'm going to do a separate haul with the things I got at Target and also I got a Bath and Body Works order. Look at these beautiful lids. Are you kidding me with this gorgeousness? In love. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a haul for you guys and that should be up pretty soon. I also just edited a video, which I just put my computer back on, but I edited a video I don't know if you can see, but that's 11 o'clock at night, and it's Thursday night. What am I doing? I need to get to bed because I need to go work in the morning, but I just finished editing a haul that is going to go up tomorrow, so I need to have it processed. Look how slow my computer is. This is just ridiculous. Can you please get with the program? See that little rainbow, little death icon? Ugh, so annoying. Going to Pita Jungle for dinner. I'm so excited. I haven't been here in forever. 
Okay guys, I got the chicken jalapeno cilantro hummus. It's a small with the chicken inside a cucumber. And Mama B got some kind of boiled chicken salad. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm at Mama B's right now and we had such a yummy dinner. Oh my God, it was so bomb. I'm really full though. I'm like, I can barely breathe mode. <laughs> It was really good though, totally worth it. So I'm actually, oh, can you see Harley? Harley, what are you doing? Boo boo, what are you doing? He's probably looking for food, that crazy dog. Um, I'm actually sleeping over at Mama B's tonight. It's Friday night and we're having a sleepover. We're gonna watch Fuller House and maybe another movie. I'm gonna do some editing and some YouTube catch up. And then tomorrow we both go for hour and a half massages and we're also going to a comedy show. So it's kind of like a girl's weekend. My stepdad, I don't know if I told you this earlier, but my stepdad is out of town for two weeks. He went to Hong Kong and Singapore and I'm not sure anywhere else, but it was for work. Um, he's been sending me some pictures and a few videos, so I'll probably incorporate that in next week's vlog once he gets back. And so he can tell me what the places are and everything because he really, he's not really vlogging like Mama B would. Um, I'm super appreciative though because I want to see it all, but I don't really know where the places are or what he's showing me since he's not really vlogging it. So I'm going to wait till he gets back so he can explain things to me so I can put it together for you maybe at the end of next week's vlog. Um, so yeah, we're just going to hang out and have a little girls weekend. Um, and I'll be doing a lot of filming this weekend too. Oh, that's great. This little hair is so annoying. Oh my gosh. I wish that, you know, I secretly wish that I could take pictures or like film something without people knowing. <laughs> it sounds really bad, but our waiter was freaking adorable. Oh, he was gay though. Not that I have anything against that because I love me some gay men, but Obviously, can't date a gay man, unfortunately, <laughs> but he was like totally my type. He was adorable. And my mom was like, oh my God, he loves your makeup or something because he's like all about you. <laughs> he was so cute. I loved him to pieces. I wish I could have vlogged him or like took a picture to show you guys, but that probably would have been awkward. So anyways, I'm just waiting for Mama B to get back. We drove separate because I came from work and she came from here, so... I'm hanging out till we watch Fuller House. Okay, you guys, I forgot. I had one more thing to tell you. We went and saw Deadpool last night with my brother. Oh, can we just pause a moment for this highlight? Are you kidding me? I haven't even touched this up. This has been on since like 5 o'clock this morning, and it's just like, bam. It's the Anastasia highlight. I'm really impressed by that. Hi. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Makeup lover problems, you get distracted by your highlights. <laughs> um, Deadpool was so good. If you haven't seen it, it's hilarious. First of all, I'm a big Ryan Reynolds fan. I mean, if you aren't, what is wrong with you? I'm just kidding. He's just so adorable. And I really wanted to see the movie anyways, but it was just so funny. Not appropriate for kids. Don't even think about it. If you're not familiar with the Deadpool comics, then I'm. this is the warning is for you specifically. So there are some sexy situations and there's some like kind of gruesomey things like heads getting chopped off kind of stuff. And there's a lot of innuendo stuff that kids probably wouldn't pick up on, but I just don't think it's appropriate. Not judging if you brought your kid, what do you, but... Anyways, it was a good movie and I just wanted to mention it before I forgot. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Isn't she precious? Mama B got her for me a target. It's so cute. She's like the same kind that I got at Christmas, but she's the Easter version. She's so cute. What should we call her? And then, oh, don't fall over, honey. Oh my God, I almost talked over again. And then I saw these at the dollar spot and I thought about getting them and I didn't. And then Mom and V ended up getting them for me. So you'll see these in my Target haul too, but I just thought I'd show them to you now because they're so cute. It's like me trying to watch Leave It to Be. Yeah. Honeybees, 
It's almost spring and I'm getting crafty. What I'd like to do is show you how to make a planter out of a chandelier. So much fun, saw it online and thought I'd try it. Wanna share it with you. One moment while I show you all of the things you'll need to start this project. Here we go, watch. Mine just kind of screws off. Wish I had Melissa here with me. But it just screws off. If I had two hands, it's really easy. And then what that leaves you with is just an empty little chandelier without any candles. I also took off the wires that were in the chain with the wire clippers. Now I no longer have any wires in there. So I'm pretty good. And I'll show you what happens once we take them all off. All right, now see I hung my chandelier on top of my chandelier uh, just so I could go ahead and glue the saucers onto the arms. So what I did first, guys, is I took the putty, I cut, it a, I cut a piece off, um, just so you know. I can do it with one hand. Okay, I rolled a piece in my hand, and what I'm doing is I'm putting it on the little piece where the candle used to be. And the reason why I'm doing this is not only to protect it, but kind of like a stabilization. Um, so just press it on there, okay, like that. Then you're gonna take your saucer, and with the um, Pro Bond, you're going to make uh, glue it all the way around. And then also I put some in the middle for extra glue. And then you just take it, bring it over to your chandelier and stick it on. Make sure it's straight when you do it and kind of hold it while it's gluing. Just like that. and let it dry. So, so far we have a chandelier with all the little saucers. Okay guys, so I'm spray painting it the Valspar color blue. And as you can see, I hung, I hung it on my tree and started spray painting it. You could spray paint it any color you want. And then I spray painted the planters on their own and then I'll put them up there and then spray them again just so they get a good coat. And then the next step is you just have to put the flowers in it with some potting soil and you have a great chandelier for your summer and spring. We're almost finished so the next thing we're going to do is put the putty on the bottom of these containers. We're going to Fill them up with some potting soil, just a little bit. And I also have some of these pretty flowers, which are petunias. Here's one of them, all filled up. And now I have five more to go. Guys, here's the finished product. Can't wait for all the little flowers to start growing. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Love you. Hey guys, so I'm about to film two videos for you today. It's Saturday, it's about 12 o'clock. Um, I took like a little bit longer to do my makeup today. I'm actually not wearing any foundation. I'm just wearing the Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC and a little bit of this Tarte powder that I've been using. It's not a lot of coverage though. It's more of like a setting powder. It's the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder. I'm in the shade Fair because these run pretty um, yellow. Um, and the light was a little too yellow for me, so this is the fair. Still has more of a yellow tone to it, though. And then for my blush, I'm wearing the Sonia Kashuk Sunset Blush. This is one of my favorites for spring and summer. I use it all the time. And um, for a contour, I have Hoola Bronzer. I'm still trying to use that up. My lip is the Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D in Double Dare. I love this color so much. And then... 
my eye look, I use the Bon Bon Too Faced palette, which I will be doing a tutorial with pretty soon. My lashes are from Iconic Rose, and I'm not sure their website was down for a little bit. They were renovating, so hopefully they're back up in action because I absolutely love their lashes. They are... Um, I think they're like faux mink. I don't know. Something where it's cruelty free, but they are like so light and pretty. Pretty. These are the unicorn lashes in Maleficent. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go film for you guys. I'm going to change my shirt, comb down these little baby hairs, <laughs> and I'm going to film an empties video and one other video. I am so excited. Look what just came in the mail. Ofra sent me a whole big set of their lip liners. Look at all these fun colors. I'm really, really excited to try these out. This color is really pretty. And then they're also sent me, I'm guessing this is a new shade. It's in Dubai. And it's just a really nice nude. I mean, there's not much else I can say about that. And you guys know how I feel about their liquid lipsticks. So I have no doubt these are going to be awesome. I can't wait to try them and let you know what I think. Hey guys, so we're about to go to a comedy show tonight. I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this top. I got it from Torrid. I think it's so pretty and feminine and very kind of boho. I'm wearing jeans, which I mean, shocker. <laughs> I rarely wear jeans. I'll show you my shoes in the other mirror so you can see it a little bit better, but I just wanted to show you what am I wearing these little heart earrings too. And we're about to go. And here are the wedges I'm wearing. They are from Steve Madden, and they have like ruffles in the front. They're really cute. Reunited once again. <laughs> We're having Chipotle burrito bowls with, or mines with black beans, just veggies, no meat, a little bit of brown rice, mostly lettuce, mild salsa, and a teeny bit of sour cream. We're on our way now with Mama B. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're going to go see the comedy show. And that's it. <laughs> see you guys later. Are you kidding me? I broke another shoe. Blow out. <laughs> Do you remember last year when I went to that LA event and the same thing happened to me with a wedge heel, some, something very similar? Can't believe this. My cute Steve Madden shoes are done for. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so I'm actually downloading all the footage right now onto my laptop. I just got home from the comedy show. We had a great night, really funny, and just a, a good time. Um, besides my shoe breaking once again, what the heck is up with that? I have no idea. I mean, they are a couple of years old, but I probably worn them 10 times if I'm lucky. So it's kind of a bummer. Anyways, um, so I really wish I was going to say I'm going to get my butt to bed because it's about almost 12, but I got to edit the vlog. So hopefully you guys liked the vlog because I probably stayed up till... 2 a.m. editing it. So I hope you really liked it. I'm gonna show you one more thing before I go. So from past week's vlogs, I'm sure you remember this little setup with the Easter goodies, but I got these cute little burlap um, bunny ear napkin rings from the dollar spot at Target. It came in a set of four. And so that's what I decided to use as my little napkin rings. I know a few of you were kind of asking me about what I ended up choosing. I think they look so cute. So on that note, I love you guys and I'll see you again next week.